Hi everyone, welcome back to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Revelations. On this video we are going to be doing Desmond's Journey Part 1. So you have to go to the Animus Island and then run to the left and go through this doorway. Now I'm not going to lie to you, these really are irritating. But there's five of them to do. And there are some hidden things in each of these, the multiplayer um, icons which you can get if you want to. I'll show you where they are, but I've already got them in an earlier profile. This must be the core of the Animus. No simulations, no environments. I can't even feel my own body. Everything's just raw data. So, so am I still me, or am I some kind of computer program? Okay, so this is all in first person. So you jump down these steps. You that hurt, but we're okay. Jump across these steps. And we want to get to that portal there, but you can't at the moment, so you're going to go across over here and up these steps and through this doorway. Then you're going to climb up here, and there's a hand on the wall. Activate the hand, and the doorway opens to the side of you. So we go to the side. Home. I was born here. The farm. Yeah, they called it the farm. My parents, two dozen couples, some kids. A community. Hidden away. Small houses in the Black Hills. Right. The clear skies. Wood smoke, wind. The stink of gasoline. Generators running day and night. I remember. We live simply. Almost like nomads. So far from everything. Ready to pack up and go at the drop of a hat. If we were discovered. Okay. Activate the hand again. Uh, another doorway. I'm not going to talk much because obviously there's story going on in the background. The farm. It wasn't much of one, was it? Not a proper farm. We grew some food. I don't remember any animals, though. Maybe a few dogs. The assassins. I was born into it. I didn't choose. It was like a birthright. You are an assassin, they told me. On to the foot. What did that even mean? And then on to the next one. Ever since I was young, they one. never stopped saying it. You are an assassin. You are and an assassin. Down. And this is our creed. Nothing is true. Drop that down that. A world without and purpose. Down again. And around this bit. Everything is permitted. Everything is permitted? And then up on this floaty thing. Turn that way. And then go across and activate the hand when you get the top. There it is. And another bridge appears at the bottom. Which we can go to. They're looking for us. And they will not stop until every one of us is dead. And then you have to quickly jump across onto this yeah, one and activate the hand. I believe for a while. But I never understood. That's the trouble when you're born into something. Belief without understanding. Everyone was so serious. Scared, too. All that talk of assassins and Templars. The end of the world. Go through this portal. Live by the green desert. Empower yourself. <laughs> Every man has his limit, I guess. I can't remember when I stopped believing. When I stopped. OK, 
Okay, so bake these blocks across. You get two types of blocks, these blocks and slanty blocks. These ones will do first. You gotta get your way across there. Oh we'll try and if you touch those black things you have to respawn. So they come out of the wall as well, so you gotta be quick. And get to the next one. An ancient war they say. An endless and there is a block there. Who cared? Who knew it was possible to bore a kid with war stories? And that was a slanty block up the top. I guess I was lonely. Alone in a crowd. If I could have told them that, maybe they would have listened. If only I could go back. If I could tell them I'm sorry. Almost there now. And through this doorway, and that's it. The end of Desmond Journey 1. Now, a lot of people like this as a side game. I personally don't. Not really. I find it irritating. But there we go, and you end up back in Animus Island at the end of this. And that's where we're going to end this video. So, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, requiescat in pace.